Welcome to World Transits Today. I'm Art Granoff. August 23, 2022. Today on World Transits, we kick the ball all over the place, looking at ongoing long-term transit, Saturn square Uranus, with the inner planets traveling through them this year. This week, showing three planetary cycles in action and how they repeat during a long transit. Let's explore Saturn square Uranus with transiting Mercury, Mars, and Venus by going through them, tasting their essence, maybe gaining insight, and then watching them repeat. Are you ready? Here we go. Saturn square Uranus from January 2020 to October 2023, a main transit of our time. Saturn BPM2 is hardline, stuck, and uncompromising, fixed. Saturn also awakens us to what's firm, where we may stand. Saturn's also fear, frustration, stuck again like in the birth canal, but now finding ways to relieve the pressure. Then watch for shadow Saturn. Here comes the judge, accusations, pointing fingers, othering, Uranus is BPM4, instant change, release. The fresh, as in the newborn baby. Saturn was or is, Uranus what will be. The classic clash of opposites. Any problem here? Think about your life. What's obsolete and what needs to change? What's restricting or holding you back towards what's new and welcoming? Cite some examples from your life. Any time is fine. Write them down in your journal, recollecting the points of change or the odors from not. In the news, what do we see? It's California Democrat Governor Newsom versus Texas Republican Governor Abbott. Adding some bizarre humor or tit for tat, here's the message Newsom sent to Abbott. Saturn Uranus, throw them clothes in the washer and meet the new day. Let's add some inner planets. Mercury touring in July. Mercury's thinking. Saturn's restricting or strengthening. Uranus is breaking through to the other side. Mercury, Saturn, Uranus. Mainstream thinking. Propaganda from religion, politics the Washington Post, or fresh thinking, exploring new ideas, awakening towards self-realization, or Mercury, Saturn, Uranus, doubling down on the same, or changing your mind. Let's meet Michael Pollan, an American author and journalist who is currently the Knight Professor of Science and Environmental Journalism at the UC Berkeley Graduate School of Journalism. Pollen has Saturn trying Uranus in his chart, the old versus the new. The author of many books, in 2018, Pollen wrote, How to Change Your Mind, a book about the history and future of psychedelic drugs. The book became a number one New York Times bestseller. He argues that psilocybin and LSD are not drugs that make people crazy, which he calls the biggest misconception people have about psychedelics. But rather, these drugs can help a person become more sane by, for example, eliminating the fear of death. While promoting his book on TV, he explained that along with LSD and psilocybin, his research included ingesting ayahuasca, and 5-MeO-DMT, and that he experienced a disillusion of ego. Thank you, Michael Pollan. Mars traveling through July and August. Mars is a dedicated force, power and resilience. Mars with sword and spear may get too close and in your face, awakening your fight or flight pattern. Mars, Saturn, shadow, force meeting resistance with sparks flying, hands turning into fists, 
also Mars Saturn demonstrating powerful moves, big accomplishment, the strength and determination to continue no matter what. Uranus may inspire Mars, leading to selfless service. What new needs to be done? I can do it. Mars Uranus, also an immediate problem, require the surgeon cutting with blood flowing. Years ago, during a Mars opposite Uranus world transit, I get emergency surgery. Mars Saturn Uranus, strategy, harnessing all of your energy towards getting the job done, seeking a fresh approach. And here's President Biden, who's signing the Inflation Reduction Act into law, setting 15% minimum corporate tax rate. The more than $430 billion package is expected to reduce the deficit by more than $300 billion over a decade. There he is. It's a little small for a presidential desk, but there you go. Venus, hey. Venus transiting Saturn Uranus. With Venus, there's magic in the air. Heart is open. Senses delighted and digging it. Equate Venus with aesthetics, love, and welcome warm feelings towards someone or even to yourself. Self-love, good. With self-love, we can love another. Shadow Venus, too social, too perky or personal or too willing to please. Venus Saturn, the wedding ring, time-honored love, traditional marriage, adhering to popular or religious culture with no choice. Venus Uranus, unconditional love, opening the heart, the beauty of change, choices. Venus Saturn Uranus, love as the status quo, Accepted forms or people, love that's a sure thing. Or Venus Uranus, branching out, exploring fresh possibilities in love, heart opening. Saturn refers to yesterday or the past. Uranus is about today or tomorrow. Here's one of my favorite poets, Maya Angelou, with Venus square Saturn in her chart and Venus conjunct Uranus. Her poem, Still I Rise, from 1978. And she says, You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room, just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes of springing high, still I rise. Do you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Because I laugh like I got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like the air, I'll rise. Thank you, Maya Angelou. From August 15th through November 12th, three months, the three outer planets together. And today with the moon on all three outer planets till November, 2022, coming up every few days. Attention, inner journeyers. And in a couple of days, the moon is back. And then a couple of more days, she's back again. And so it goes for three months. And August 27th, Sun conjunct moon, the new moon, new cycle, new outlook, a time for personal renewal, a good time for self-love, self-maintenance, self-care. Take the time to make an intention, carrying this new moon until next. Journal your thoughts, take a long walk, get grounded. 
new moon with Mars, action. What are you doing this fresh new moon? Sun, Mars, direct action, I accomplish. Or the bulldozer knocking stuff over. Moon, Mars, intimacy through technology, the medical professional. Or raging emotions bursting out. Here's Florence Nightingale, 1820 to 1910. She was an English social reformer and the founder of modern nursing. She significantly reduced death rates by improving hygiene and living standards. Nightingale gave nursing a favorable reputation and became an icon of Victorian culture, especially in the persona of the lady with the lamp making rounds of wounded soldiers at night. Happy new moon, everybody. Thanks for joining me on World Transits today, covering Saturn square Uranus with the inner planets in 2022. Hey, watch World Transits at my site, Reference Astrology. Listen to the audio at Apple Podcasts. Contact me directly at Reference Astrology for a birth chart and transit reading where we explore the planetary archetypes, put them on your chart, revealing your personal transits to see what's up for you.